what the Frank Starling law tells us basically is that the volume that the heart pumps out into the system, which is also called the stroke volume, is dependent on the amount of blood that returns to the heart, also known as the end diastolic volume. So all in all, the stroke volume depends on the filling of the heart. And now we're going to take a look at why. Here we see the sacromeres of the cardiac muscle fibers. And these cardiac sacromeres have an optimal length in which they contract the hardest. So there's an optimal length in which the sacromeres contract the best. And the stretch of the sacromeres is of course dependent on the amount of volume that fills out the heart. Let's take a look at how this looks like inside of the ventricle. So the ventricle is filled up with blood and here we see an optimal end diastolic volume and as a result a lot of force is generated and a lot of blood is sent out into the system.